Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef Devote and I'm going to teach you how to make not the lemon mouse you saw in the intro, but instead three small little garnishes that you can add to any kind of food you're choosing, say a sushi platter, sashimi platter, or like I said, any other food. Uh, it's up to you how you incorporate this in. I'm just going to show you how to create these small little garnishes that just accentuate and lift up whatever you're doing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get going. Okay, right, so here we go. Just going to remove these lemons. And you're just going to need one lemon for the first one. Okay, just going to cut it in half, just like this. Now you're going to notice there's these lines going across the lemon. You want a lemon with 10 of these lines, so 10 segments. Then you just want to slice it half a centimeter to one centimeter thick. And then you just want to start your cutting at one of the tips of these lines, going to the neighboring one, but halfway down. And then from the halfway to the next neighboring tip of it. And so it's just a V-shaped cut into it. And you just keep doing this all the way around and you have 10 segments then you'll end up with five star tips now if you have less or more segments you'll need to compensate and adjust your cutting okay so here we go just a few more cuts now it's important to have a very sharp knife for this because otherwise you'll tear apart this star before you create it but then again it's just a lemon so it doesn't need to be extremely sharp All right, so here we go. This is the lemon star, done. And this is just a beautiful way to add lemon to a plate. Instead of just adding a slice of lemon, you have this beautiful little star that you can add. Okay, there we go, lemon star, done. Next. All right, so now you take another lemon and you're gonna cut it from tip to tip, so lengthwise, all the way across. Just like this. Okay, now you've done that, you take half of the segment and you want to start cutting the peel away from the leading edge in the center of it. Okay. And then you just want to go all the way across, cutting the peel about one to two millimeters thick and following the circumference of your semicircular lemon. And you just want to stop just before you reach the end. So the peel is still attached to the lemon, just like this. Okay, so now you place it down on the cutting board, just like this. And you just want to cut off first a segment that you don't need, here. That is just where the peel cut begins. And then you just want to slice off pieces just like this, about half a centimeter to one centimeter thick, I'd say. And I'm just going to need four of these. Okay. So once you've done, as you can see, you've got the center of the lemon and you've got the peel still attached to the lemon slice. Okay, now I'm just going to take these and you're just going to fold the peel over back to where it starts and then you can just do this again with multiple of them and create this beautiful sort of mosaic pattern made of lemons. Which is just a beautiful eye-catching way to present your lemons on a plate. Now you can do this in many ways, you can just play about with it and just assemble them in different ways. This is one great way. Another great way is just to put them side by side, just like this. Now you can have two or you can have four on a plate or you can have this on the edge of your plates. It's all up to you. Just go crazy with it. Do something fun and interesting. Maybe put them together, who knows? Okay, so I'll leave it to you. All right, so here we go. One more technique, you just take a lemon slice and then you cut in between one of these segment barriers or the membrane and then you just separate it out just like this. And each of the segments should pull apart and be their own little segment. Now, if it's a little bit difficult, then you can just cut a little starting cut just to start the pulling apart and then you just pull it apart just like that. Okay, here again, I'm just gonna cut that and separate the segments out. And once you've separated all the segments apart just like this, then you just need to bend the entirety out so it doesn't curl up. Right? So just move it across your hand and bend each individual one. And then you can just lay this down on a cutting board or a plate or whatever you want to and you can use it like this. You can have uh, sushi on either side or some food separating. This could be like a barrier or who knows what you could do with this. It's a very interesting way to have your lemon on a plate instead of having it just like a normal slice. Okay, so there we go. Maybe you just put it on the floor like this. Maybe on the edge of the plate, who knows? I, I'll leave it up to you again. Just go crazy, do something insane with it. All is great. 
So there we go, the lemon barrier. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then you can check out some more of my garnish tutorials by clicking on the top right corner of your screen, and you'll go to my website where there's a bunch more and videos available for you to watch and check out. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you should do so right now by clicking on the top left corner of your screen, and you'll be updated when new videos are released. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.